All right, it's Infocom 2025. I'm standing in the Barco booth in Orlando with Harry Patel, product manager for the Encore 3. And we're going to get into why you should be looking at the Encore for almost every project you're doing. So, Harry, thank you so much for having me. Appreciate it. So let's just, for somebody who doesn't know what the Encore is, walk us through the basics and kind of why they should be looking at the product. Sure thing. Hey, thanks for being here. Um, Encore 3 is a screens management system. A screens management system is pretty much anywhere you have a need for a large display, multiple display, that you need to bring a live source in at the lowest latency and the best quality. That's where you demand a screens management system. So for example, a, a, an Encore 3 here can be driving an auditorium, can be driving a multi-purpose room, a theater, a live concert, any large venue where you have multiple screens with live video feeds, lots of in, lots of outs, different resolutions, all of it being managed by, by one person centrally is the power of a screens management. Encore 3 is the box that you want to consider. Now, from a, from a product standpoint, what types of venues would customers typically deploy this into or, or should they be considering it for? Sure. I mean, uh, there are two main verticals uh, that this product uh, plays in. In the pro AV space is any multi-purpose room where you have a large LED wall as a backdrop, IMAX, downstage monitors, any remote fees that you need to manage. Uh, it could be also a theater, it could be an auditorium, a multi-purpose room, a lobby that's also being used as an event space. On the, rent, on the uh, uh, events side, the rental and events side is corporate events, uh, any large corporate events that's gathering up or a live concert where again, you have live video feed that, need, that needs to be managed at again, the lowest latency and the highest uh, uh, quality of the scaling uh, is, is where this box really plays in. Now, for, let's, let's shift over to the box for a moment because I want to talk about how systems integrators should be integrating what types of connectivity is available to them. So let's move over. Sure thing. So a single Encore 3, uh, as you can see on the back, you have seven slots. These cards are modular. You can remove them and change it for any other type of cards that you want to have. So in total, you have these seven slots. The first one is a link or an input. So uh, in that one, linking, for example, is being able to link two boxes together so that you can now have a much larger system for more inputs, more outputs. A single box is capable of eight 4K60 outputs. Uh, when you link them together, it's now 16 4K60 outputs. On the input side, depending on the cards that you have, you have HDMI, DisplayPort, SDI available. Um, a, a standard configuration, as you see it here, has 16 4K60 inputs. However, you could have more inputs or more outputs that you desire to have for your given application is possible. Now, other things to consider is audio. So in the future, we will activate a Dante uh, embed, de-embed passing through the box. So for example, if you have any sources coming in on HDMI or SDI with audio and you want them to end up on Dante, well, this is the box that will de-embed it for you, remove those peripheral devices that you would typically have. And also on the other side, if you want to send an audio to a program feed, this can also embed the audio from Dante um, back to the output on the basement connectors. You have the linear time code uh, available. So linear time code will allow you to integrate queue recalls uh, into a, a time code situation where now everything can be synchronized for playback. You have Junlock in, Junlock out, and of course the basics, really the redundant power supply and, and so on. So there's a lot more specs that we wanna, we wanna show you. And we wanna tell you uh, there's a webinar available uh, from Barco where you can also review it uh, for, for more information, but some basics on, on what to consider for integration. Now, you mentioned linking. When you link boxes, does it share resources from one box to the next so I.O. doesn't have to go to both spaces? Indeed, right? So the linking can be uh, used to uh, have two boxes work together so that you can have any input be available on any output, right? So up to 16 4K60 can be shared between the two boxes. So in other words, if you look at this box, any inputs that you have as 16 4K60 in now can be available on the link, through the link onto the second box. So you can recall that PIP, however, uh, wherever you like it. In other words, when you link the two boxes together, they act like one system, right? So, um, yes. I got one more shift I want us to make. Let's go this way. Okay, so you mentioned live, and in my mind, live requires, you know, more tactile control than maybe from a front panel. So talk to me about the control service and the GUI and how that integrates into both, you know, a live or a more of a controlled environment. Yeah, so again, the two different verticals that we support, both verticals have different needs. Within Pro AV space, typically it's that, you know, a single glass of paint control where you want to have 
uh, API is recalling the box from that external control system. So we have the external API available. To program the box, you would need to work with the GUI. So the AVM Master Toolset version 10.0 is now very easy to use, very flexible to use as well. And also, uh, there's a simulator built in. So if you want to program the show before you are on site, that's possibility. Now again, from control standpoint, you can control the box from the GUI. You can control the box from our controllers as well. We have three different models, small, medium, large. We have, that's the EC30, 50, and the 210. And these are very much capable of, of supporting live events, but also in Pro AV. But again, not a must have, but it's very nice to have for operation of the, of the system. Harry, thank you so much for having us and being a part of this today. Really excited about this product. If you're looking for more information on Encore 3, hit up your JBNA sales team or the Barco team to find out more at barco.com or jbanda.com.